good morning. I'm here at uh, Soldiers Beach, Nora Head essentially. Thought I'd come out and try and practice a little bit of uh, long exposure at sunrise. So, <laughs> hope you can see behind me there's a nice little bit of colour showing already. But over that way, behind there is Nora Head Lighthouse, the point. I'm going to try and get the bay sort of curving around uh, out to the point and the lighthouse is obviously going to be the focal point of the image. Mostly I'm here to practice some uh, long exposure. So I've currently got a polarised filter on uh, and I'm going to put a six stop ND filter on as well. So once that sun or that sky starts to get nice and bright I can really get some nice long exposures, really smooth the water in this bay out, uh, and hopefully get something really nice. So here I've got my Lee six stop ND filter, and I've already got a circular polarizer on. So I'm just going to slot in this now. It's obviously a fair bit easier with two hands, but then you can't show everyone. Ah, there it is. Right. So now I should be able to get nice long exposures. Yeah. So I'm able to get that down to 30 seconds already. We're still, I don't know what time it is, maybe 15, 20 minutes away from actual sunrise. Um, but yeah, I'm able to get a 30 second exposure now, which is very nice. I'm just going to take a test shot just to frame up um, my image so I know. But I've got my composition spot on. Um, I didn't actually realise this was going to be such a busy spot. If you look down there, there's maybe four or five other photographers set up. There is a bit of a channel coming out. It must be, I guess, an iconic shot of some sort out there. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful little spot. I can see why they're here. But I've decided to, as usual, be a bit different and come further over and sort of incorporate the whole bay rather than just the uh, channel and then the lighthouse in the background. Um, and I don't know if you can see way over there, my uh, idiot assistant doing his thing, wandering around. So I'm going all out now. I've got the graduated force, four stop graduated filter as well. It's a soft edge filter, but it will do the job fine here. Uh, the sky is quite a bit brighter than the foreground. So I'm going to chuck that in and try and darken the sky. And what that means is I'm going to have to shoot much longer than 30 seconds. I'm probably going to end up shooting more like a minute, minute and a half. See how long that ends up being. But yeah, very long, long nice exposure. It should smooth everything out beautifully. So I've just shot a, about a minute and five second exposure. I've got three filters on, the graduated filter, the six stop ND, uh, and my circular polarizer. I've been using bulb mode and remote control on my phone so I don't get any camera shake. Um, there's a nice little bit of pink on the horizon. There's not a really interesting sky, but it's a nice little bit of pink on the horizon, so it should get some color. And I'm hoping that we really get to smooth out all these rocks down here, um, all the water over all these rocks down here get a really nice sort of milky look all the way out through that bay uh, and all the way around to the lighthouse. So I've just decided to switch to landscape mode from portrait. I did have portrait because it was allowing me to sort of get those rocks sort of leading out a bit better but unfortunately the best of the colour is over that way which means if I'm shooting portrait mode I can't get the lighthouse and the best of the colour in so I've switched to landscape. Hopefully get a bit more of a complete image doing that. Um, currently got a one minute exposure processing, um, so I'm going to keep shooting those long exposures and hopefully we'll come away with something nice. So here comes the sun over the horizon, I hope you can see it peeking up over there. I've got a one minute exposure running that started just as the sun started to crest that. So I've got that running on there, it's up to about 40 seconds now. I'm going to uh, yeah, expose for about one minute and uh, hopefully get a nice smooth looking image with that sun sort of moving up through the frame. Uh, never tried something like that before so we'll see how it goes. 
So a slight little disaster there, just as I was finishing that one second, oh one minute, sorry, uh, exposure, the camera went into error, which meant I missed that pivotal moment where the sun comes up over the horizon. So instead of going away from the remote control and I'm now just shooting 30 second exposures, still with all three filters on. Uh, 30 seconds should be long enough to smooth everything out pretty nicely. Um, so that's processing now, but yeah, I missed the one I really wanted, which is a bummer. But oh well, what are you doing? So I've just managed to grab a couple of 30 second exposures uh, in landscape orientation, uh, trying to get the sun in. I don't know. I couldn't go down quite to F16 because it was clipping some shadows. But there's sort of the image. I'll show you that a bit better later. But I think I'm going to go back to um, portrait quickly and try and grab one more long exposure in a portrait orientation to really get the feel of these rocks leading out and around the corner there. Uh, I don't quite like it. The composition is much in landscape, so we'll see. I'll do that quickly. Cloud on the horizon can be an absolute bugger at sunrise, sunset because it tends to block the sun and if, it blocks it, if you've got high cloud it tends to ruin the colour. But in this case where you've got no high cloud, what it actually does is prolongs your sunrise because you get two. One is it actually breaches the real horizon and one is it breaches the second layer of cloud. So don't always get discouraged when you see cloud on the horizon. It's not always the worst thing in the world. Sometimes it can actually be to your advantage. So I've just switched back into landscape mode real quick. Uh, just as the cloud's coming over that, that second layer, of, oh, sorry, as the sun's coming over that second layer of cloud, as I was just talking about, I'm hoping to get a sun star, so I've gone to F16, still got all three filters in, so going nice long exposure. Um, just about, still about 30 seconds at the moment. Uh, but yeah, trying to just get that sun star peeking through the cloud. Uh, I can only get that if I'm in landscape. This portrait, it does not fit. So I'm gonna just check that image. I might even have one more crack at it as well. Yeah, so the sun's pretty much up over that second bank of cloud now. It's obviously getting pretty bright out there. Um, what I'm going to do is just take one more 30 second exposure but I'm going to focus on that lighthouse out in the distance just in case I'm not happy with the uh, focus. I haven't checked in camera, I've just been rushing getting image in the jimmy uh, which is sort of what you have to do when you're shooting long exposures you don't have a lot of uh, spare time. So I'm just going to take one more exposure on that, focused on that lighthouse just so I can get that nice and sharp. Um, and then possibly layer them later on. I'll see how the focus is on this one initially, but I was just focusing about a third of the way into the image. So the sun's fully up now. Um, got a few edges, I don't think anything amazing, but we'll have a look and hopefully I'll, I'll show you those in a sec. Uh, but I'm gonna head off. Sun's fully up, we're not getting it interest or colour, we're just getting too much light now. So I'm going to head off, it's only a short walk around the point back to the car, uh, show you some of these images and thanks for watching, hit subscribe if you enjoyed it, thumbs up um, and hopefully see you on the next one. Thanks, bye.